Architecture is really about wellness. I think people want to feel good in a space. Uh, on the hand and building, it's about refuge, but it's also about pleasure. With Saha Hadid Wars, with start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first architecture symposium in this year. This afternoon, with the theme Luis Barragan, Light and Color. Today, we have a remarkable panel of experts. Below, I present them. And first, the architect uh, Marisol Neira, architect Brenda Diaz, architect Andrea Lopez, and architect Joana Velasquez. Well, we will we'll start with our first speaker. Architect Marisol, I give you the floor. Hello, Zurich. Um, well, uh, the color is a fundamental basis of any space, no matter if it's in, indoors or outdoors. Colors will always come in some feeling or perspective of the space in which we are. And this one can also influence how natural light will illuminate that space. It may provide the best lighting or very dark lighting. It depends on the color. Luis Barragan was one of the architects who worked in an amazing way light and color. His use of these works through color has a sentimental approach which he defines as architecture of emotions. It's used color as a means of reflection of light, obtaining an excellent result because if we separate the, the light and color, really wouldn't have the the same result. Through large windows, it creates sets on light and color projecting architecturally countless sensations. It can be that his works uh, are a space to feel and where to be. Interesting. Uh, no, I'm architect Brenda. Okay, thank you, Suri. Hello, everyone. Uh, Luis Barragan, an ingen in engineer by profession and architect by vocation, is the only Mexican architect who was won the Pritzker Award. The color becomes a graphic resource of its architectural, likewise the manipul manipulation of lights in another vital characteristic of it, its way of protect protecting and that is that draw it guy gives give it at construction an excep exceptional dynamism emotion intimizing and functionality turning his words into poor sculptures and support of the use of natural light many of his works show that an architectural style can be established, established between likes and forms. To manipulate uh, the like within the interior space, um, Barragan experienced a lot of with the con configuration of the opening and windows, the like that penetrates uh, through the windows modifies the shade of the set of elements. So the architect used to show uh, the colors when the space was already bought, has visited it at different hours of the day, 
and had observed the inside uh, of light in, in the place. Thank you. Architect Andrea Lopez, I give you the floor. Thank you, Suri. Um, taking about Luis Barragan architecture, the color plays an important role in the mission of space. Um, the round texture and water reflection made the impact of sunlight on their colorful buildings. The colors he commonly used are thereby by the flowers which were in his leading every moment. Um, pink and um, bougainville, blue sky, ochre, yellow, heart. Um, this color creates a strong contrast between trees and green plants. Um, Barragan also uses blue walls to extend the coldest sky into courtyards or interior space. Um, some things, but intense colors can be taken place for a, for a long time. Um, the intense sunlight in Mexico um, requ requires that the walls be repaired periodically to preserve the quali quality of the space. Um, he now that be using these colors, he will produce sensation in the user and that was essential for him like we more than looking for natural light he was looking for indirect light to be able to play to play with the shadows that this produced in his, in his architecture um, thank you excellent architect uh, joanna i give you the floor Yes, thanks. Um, the color in architecture is very important because it can con convert emotions, it can change perception, visually uh, being the people who will react to the final result. Um, being architecture and color together who cause many sensations and emotions um, that is why the color must be consciously placed in the spaces, um, such as the white color uh, that is mainly in hospitals and doctors' offices, or the warm colors for restaurants. Um, a well-known Mexican architect was um, Luis Barragan, um, who could um, better than anyone in this architecture represent with colors and with the help of light and endless numbers of sensations for the user um, where he could feel in space. Uh, peace, tranquility, and have the feeling of being in an uh, open space, uh, meeting inside. Thank you. Excellent. Now we will give way to question section. The first question is for the architect, Joanna. Architect, any color can be used in an architectural a space? Yes. Um, yes, uh, it all depends on which sensations you want to transmit. Okay, the next question, architect. Only the color provokes those sensations and emotions? Um, no, it is helped um, by natural light and the architect and the architecture uh, in. Thank you, architect. The next question is for the architect Brenda. Architect, so a space can change radically in size 
and in the emotion it's transmitted with good light and color magnet? Yes, of course, uh, light and color are com complementary to architecture. Color serves the, to wind or a space or oh, skin is ring space and natural light modifies the sheds are and therefore different sensations and perceive perceive it and taking of the theory and um, psychology of color color can co cause uh, countless emotions and sensations uh, it can tr transmit um, by on what we see and reaching an exceptional point, signs the different shades of color manage to awaken different sensations in those who perceive them. In addition to the fact that color manages uh, to inform, define, and attract and attract attention. Okay, thank you very much. Now, is artificial light also important? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, adequate lighting can make common place, uh, a spectacular place. Artificial light guides use the possibility of expanding the space or reducing them, uh, accentuating or consoling walls or objects and an infinite number of gains or of lights, they recreate a uh, attracting place. Excellent. The next question is by the architect Marisol. Architect, what colors did architect Luis Barragan mainly use? Okay, uh, he mainly used the yellow, pink, orange and red color palette, uh, more or less. Okay. Uh, how does, does light influence emotions? The lighting that he used is a hind. This generates lights and shadows that emit in emotions. This makes each person feel the space in different ways. Can be warm, uh, hostile, honey, etc. Thank you. Now, architect Andrea, how do you think light and color influence users? Um, the way they feel when they are in a place, for example, a place with low low light or gray or black colors can make a person feel sad but if they are in a place with a lot of light or a white or a pink color it can feel happy okay why do you think baran uh, use uh, such bright colors um because for him, they were the most representative color of Mexican culture, and he considered that they were the colors of the emotions. Thank you very much, architect. Okay. Excellent. Well, we conclude the symposium. We thank, thank the exponents again hoping this has been of the interesting to you and the project has covered everything. Uh, thanks for watching. Great afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Sari. Thank you. Yes.